the 2016 iPhone 7 used the Apple A10 Fusion, a quad-core processor, and the iPhone 8 from 2017 used the Apple A11, a hexa-core processor. And when you compare the iPhone 7 to the iPhone 8, they've both got the same screen resolution, so the biggest change is probably that of the processor. So how do they compare side-by-side -side in Speedtest G? Well, let's find out. We have the iPhone 7 with the Apple A10 Fusion from 2016 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have the iPhone 8 with the Apple A11 processor from 2017. And we are already into the test and I can see a slight lead there already by the iPhone 8. Now, really, of course, we would expect the newer phone to beat the older one, but by how much? And of course, what's really interesting is we went from the quad-core Apple A10 processor in the iPhone 7 to the hexa-core uh, A11 processor in the iPhone 8. And not only that, another big change, the A10 could only run two cores at once, either the big cores or little cores. However, the uh, iPhone 8 with the Apple A11 could actually run all six cores at the same time. I think we can see that now as we're going through the 16th thread test. It really is doing so well. Look at that comparative to the one on the left hand side. Definitely a bit faster on the iPhone 8. It's already into the blur test and the iPhone 7 is still halfway through the 16th thread test. I wonder, I was going to say, will it get to the end before and we're all into the infinite scrolling list? So actually, will it even get to the end of this test? So a whole two test head start. There we go. As we're now into the smoke particle test already while the iPhone 7 is finishing that 16th thread test. 25 frames a second, 24 frames a second, 23 frames a second. So a big difference there between the quad core and the hexa core. And we're now into unity test. So this really is the final, final, final throws of this test. This is it. The iPhone 8 is just going to finish and leave it. The iPhone 7 really quite behind in the dust, if I must say that. There we go. 1 minute 30.1. And as I'm saying that, the iPhone 7 is still into the smoke particle. It's 23, 22 frames a second there. Both having the same screen resolution. It's now gone into unity test. But the clock is still ticking, ticking, ticking. So the same screen resolution for both of these. What's the final time going to be? We're going to have to turn left now. Come down to the water. Turn right. Go to the end of the valley. And when we get to the end of the test, we'll finish and then we'll see what it is. There we go. 1 minute 57.3. Okay, let's break down those times and see what happened. So clearly the newer iPhone 8 won there, 1 minute 30.1 compared to 1 minute 57.3 for the iPhone 7. So a big win there by the iPhone 8. And so what happened? We'll look at that CPU time, 71 seconds over a minute. Uh, for the iPhone 7, but 49 seconds, a long way under a minute for the iPhone 8. So clearly there a big difference in the CPU. When we get to the mixed CPU, GPU, not so much of a big difference. 27.5 versus 26 seconds. And then again, a bit of a win by the iPhone 8 when we get into the GPU only test. 18.7, remember they're both on the same screen resolution. 18.7 for the iPhone 7 and 15.1 seconds for the iPhone 8. And when you add up all that up, you get 1 minute 30.1 for the iPhone 8. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please consider sticking around by subscribing to the channel. If you like to do Twittery things, don't forget that we have a Twitter account, Speed Test Underbar G. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.